There's a couple of things about Ibanez guitars that I really like. One of them is the headstock shape, and occasionally you'll see uh, a reverse headstock. A lot of the standard Ibanez's are they're flipped around, and they, when, it, when, it, when they have a reverse model, which is rare, it really catches my eye. So I wanted to do that. Um, I also wanted to do an ebony fretboard. You don't usually see ebony on Ibanez. Um, now I have a, a bound, uh, bound ebony fretboard. And uh, another feature was the matte finish. Not many guitar companies do matte finishes, and uh, I, w I wanted it to be like black, but not black, and because uh, there's a lot of black guitars, I'm sure you noticed. Um, so it's kind of it turned out to be this pencil lead graphite color, and I wanted to kind of go with this whole black and gold color scheme, and uh, I was able to get a, a maple binding around the whole guitar, as you can see, and uh, you have gold accents with the tuners, uh, the Ibanez logo, and pickups, which are my custom, uh, or I should say, signature DiMarzio uh, Titans, which I got to work on, work really closely with Steve and DiMarzio to make them for this guitar. Um, so uh, with the guitar, it's a, it's a mahogany body with a maple top, and uh, it's, uh, it's really tailored to low-tuned uh, low -tuned playing, and I actually tune up around like when I'm, uh, when I'm playing live, so... I have a bunch of different locking features on the guitar that uh, allow me to leave the nut unlocked if I need to and to change tunings when I need to. So, yeah, it's a cool guitar, I love it. When, uh, when I first joined up with Ibanez as an official endorsee, uh, they sent me a, an RJ uh, 420Z, which is a great guitar. And it, I hadn't really been familiar with the RGA style. I've always played RGs growing up. And uh, when I saw the arch top and uh, how good it felt and started doing these uh, beveled uh, edges on the cutaway. I just thought it looked really sharp, felt really good, especially here when I rest my arm on it and stuff. Um, and it also catches the light really nicely too. So. But yeah, RGA, love it. Cool, and this also features the low pro edge, similar. Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing that I'm really happy that Ivan has brought back is the low pro uh, trim. Uh, the, the original edge trim is a little higher uh, it looks almost the same, but it just it has a more comfortable feel. It also has these really beefy fine tuners, so like when I'm sweating all over the guitar and getting all gross on it, I don't slip off the tuners. I can tune. I do a lot of tuning. It's like I don't know. I have to I have to tune all the time. I think I pick too hard. I need I need to fix that. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that the low pro is back. And for your six string, I mean, you play a uh, you know, different guitars: six string, seven strings, eight string guitars. Yeah. What is your uh, most common tuning for your six-string guitars? It's a, a drop C tuning. It's C G C F A D, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's just a drop tuning, but down a lot normal, uh, down a lot farther than drop D. I'm a, I'm a huge space nerd. I like uh, like looking at space. I like reading about it. And uh, a lot of people don't really realize this, but there's a moon that revolves around, uh, that orbits around Saturn called Titan, and it's uh, it's very Earth-like. You couldn't live there; you'd die instantly if you stepped on it. But uh, it's it, it just it, I, I've always had a fascination with space, and I wanted to incorporate it into uh, a guitar that I was building. And uh, there's this photograph of Titan uh, that was taken by the Cassini uh, uh, satellite, and uh, it, it was like. Uh, a crescent shape with a with a golden crescent and a blue uh, hazy atmosphere around it, and that's kind of what gave me the idea for the black and gold uh, color scheme. Uh, and I actually have a little inlay at the 12th fret that's kind of uh, the, uh, the Cassini image that I that I saw. Uh, so uh, that's where that's where the idea for for, uh, for this guitar came from. Are there any plans for a production seven string model? Um, not yet, but uh, I'm sure if you uh, ask uh, Ibanez nicely and uh, people like this one, then it, it could possibly happen. We're, we're working on um, a seven string model. I have a seven string prototype that I've been playing through and it's awesome. Like if you really like the periphery sound and, and you really want like a, a tight aggressive pickup the seven string version is coming out but uh, I just have to uh, approve the final model and then uh, it'll be out sometime this year but yeah we are working on that as for an eight string um, it's uh, it's a little bit more uh, difficult to figure that out because I'm not sure I, I don't play a lot of eight string I play it with periphery but I'm still trying to figure out what I like with that so that'll probably be a little bit longer but I'm sure that'll come too
All right, well, thanks, Jay. Thanks for giving us the tour. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, and uh, thank you, Ibanez, and thank you all for, for coming and, and checking this out. This is uh, like definitely a dream come true for me, and, uh, you know, I love being a part of this company. This is, this is the company that makes the guitars that I want to play.